Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is something I wanted to speak on a couple weeks ago when Nintendo first announced the outline of what their online service was going to be for the Switch. Now, everything that they did announce was pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. The price point was great, the service sounds nice, the fact that we're going to be able to play classic games online with our friends is... <laughs> amazing so you know overall i'm pretty stoked but there were two things that i really just couldn't swallow and one of those was there is no localized chat we're still using the phone app that they have created i'm still not sure how that app is going to work i have not yet used it but being someone who's originally from the Bahamas, who will be going back there next year, I know that this app is going to give issue. Like, we're not going to be able to use it. It's going to be out of region. A lot of the time, there are features to Nintendo and other consoles that aren't allowed to be used in the Bahamas because of being out of region. It's something that is a constant annoyance, and we just have to find ways around it. But that's something that's not really changing. I mean, I've seen with Fortnite, it's really great that they have put localized chat inside the game. And I hope to see that be something that continues with other games and maybe even games that already exist like Splatoon 2 being updated to have this kind of feature because the phone app is just inconvenient. And nobody likes it. And Nintendo should know that. But the biggest disappointment for me was the fact that they are discontinuing the virtual console. This hurts me because like many of us, we've invested in many games on the Virtual Console. We've invested multiple times in a single game to have it on our handheld and our home console. So to see them scrap it and not actually unify it to where no matter what device we're playing on, those games are there for us is really, really sad and concerning. They showed a list of games that will be available and whilst a lot of these games are free, we still don't know how many of them we'll be able to choose from we still don't know how many we'll be able to have in our library at a single time. We still don't know much about how this whole situation is gonna pan out and I don't like being left in the dark until the very end. And I really don't like that every time we start a new console, it seems like we start from square one. You know, the, the Wii built up such a great virtual console, the Wii U came out and it started very minimal and had to grow from there. Same thing with the 3DS, it's just, I, I don't understand why the library can't just continue to expand. But my biggest problem with this is looking at the potential of what could have been the virtual console. I imagined a world where the virtual console became like Steam and your games continued with you. So even 80 years from now, you would have your collection with you on whatever Nintendo console is there. It's just incredibly sad and discouraging. You know, Nintendo, you have to know at this point that people aren't gonna pay for these games over and over and over again. And while I will say with the Wii U, you did allow us to transfer games from the Wii to the Wii U for like two dollars that's nice but where does that leave us now with the virtual console not continuing with the switch where does that leave our library of games is it up in the air is it dust now like i i don't get it and i don't appreciate it honestly then you add the fact that the virtual console like i said being like a steam service thinking about the mini consoles of the future yes the nes and the snes came preloaded with games and that was lovely, but at the same time, it had a lot of us wanting more. Even if there were expansion cartridges or cards that you use NFC, I, I don't know what you would have done. But I think that the most sensible idea would have been to have each system be an empty shell when you buy it off the shelf. And through the power of the internet, allow your virtual console games from that particular system to occupy that console. There were a lot of Super Nintendo games that I already owned on the Super Nintendo Mini. There's a reason why I didn't buy the NES Mini because I already owned all of those games. At least with the NES Mini, there was Star Fox 2, a never released game. So I was very excited to play that game. Even though it's not the best, it, it does show some of the roots and it shows some of the ideas that transitioned into newer games. So I really did appreciate that, but it would have been lovely if I could have had my Demon's Crest by Capcom on there, or it would have been nice if you could have struck a deal with Microsoft to have Killer Instinct on there. That would have been a small victory that everyone would have appreciated, and even Xbox fans might have appreciated. So overall, I think taking away the Virtual Console brand is a missed opportunity in so many ways. 
I really hope that this new service and what comes along with it will remedy this situation because I'm not buying Mario World again. I'm not buying Earthbound again. There's just, there's so many games that I will not buy again. And I will say that being able to play online with your friends does have added incentive. And so maybe I'll buy them this round because I want to play online. But there's only so many years that this can happen. Again, you guys really need to get your system together, really unify the system. And if you do plan on having future consoles, future handhelds, that it be a family that really works together. I mean, I look back at the 3DS and the Wii U, two great consoles that had incredible amounts of games on it, especially the 3DS. But I look at their virtual console games and there was just such a lovely array, but a lot of them were intersecting. I found that incredibly hurtful that Nintendo didn't think to have a dual buy situation where you're buying both versions for a lesser price. Or once you buy one version, the other version is two bucks or something along those lines. I'm not trying to dictate how you guys do business, but when you're doing bad business like this, I've got to speak up. It's 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 a shame because while gamers love you, these kind of things add to that pile of things that make them angry. I mean, I feel like that's one of your biggest problems over the last 20 years is that a lot of gamers grew up and jumped ship. Nostalgia only goes so far. I mean, this is kind of going off topic, but when you're only going in one direction working on certain titles and you focus on those titles and you're not thinking over here where, you know, a lot of gamers want stuff or over here where other gamers want stuff. You know, I'm talking about your extreme sports games, for example. There is no reason why you need Steep or MotoGP or any of these other games that are coming from third-party developers. It is nice that they're there, but you have your own and you should be working on your own. Stop focusing so much on the image of Nintendo. I mean, in that regard, you don't need to focus on just Mario's and Zelda's and Donkey Kong's with the occasional interesting project on the side like Labo. Those are great and it, I really do appreciate that, but there's just so much more that you could be working on and be catering to a much broader audience. I would love to see a day where Nintendo does cater to a lot more and you see people coming back. Anyway guys, I really hope that this online service pans out well. I hope when it finally comes, we can all be happy with it. But as it stands, there are just certain elements that I'm incredibly wary about and, and I hope Nintendo fixes them. That does it for this video. I really appreciate you guys joining me for this topic. If you have your own two cents on the topic, by all means, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, dudes.